here I am in the Rivian R1T this morning, crossing over this beautiful lake up here by uh, Little Elm, Texas. And uh, I just wanted to show you my efficiency. It's 84 degrees out and I'm getting 2.74, 2.71 miles per kilowatt hour. Absolutely impressive. Um, running mostly at highway speeds, I am on some uh, city streets, but uh, just absolutely love the Rivian R1T. Super comfortable, super smooth. Uh, just had the uh, annual inspection done. Had this car almost uh, exactly two years. And it's only got about 20,000 miles on it, 19,984 or something like that. And uh, yeah, passed the inspection, of course, no problem. It just, uh, uh, I'm guessing I'll need tires in the next 10 or so thousand miles. But uh, yeah, the car is fantastic. Great driving vehicle, uh, really practical, incredible range. You know, I'm sitting at about 80% battery now in all purpose mode, which. You know, this thing has 800 and some horsepower, and uh, it's showing 259 miles of range, as you can see down there in the bottom right, uh, at 80%. So, again, love the Rivian R1T, taking them on a quick drive this morning. I'm actually uh, going to test drive some Teslas this morning, just some of the newer ones, 2024 Model X and a 2024 Model 3. Um, I need to pick up a third vehicle for travel, and uh, so I'm not sure what I want to get, but I'm going to go drive a few Teslas, I'm going to drive a Cadillac Lyric, and check things out. I'm going to keep the Rivian, I'm going to keep the Model Y, and this will be an additional road tripping vehicle. I am going to do more road tripping um, in the Rivian now that I got the NAX to CCS adapter from A to Z. So I have that here in the door, and uh, I can't show that right now while I'm driving, but uh, that's going to really help the road tripping here in the uh, in the Rivian R1T. This is probably one of the, my favorite vehicles I've ever owned. Absolutely love it. I love the Model Y. Super happy with both of them. Probably the only negative to the Rivian is the charging, uh, high-speed DC charging, of course, being CCS. Even on the Tesla superchargers, uh, on a long road trip, the thermals, um, the charging could be better. In my opinion, Tesla does a better job with charging. Uh, but the Rivian's not the worst. It's it's livable, uh, and it just adds some time. I would say each stop's about 10 minutes longer on the Rivian than uh, in the Model Y. It's a bigger battery. It's less efficient. That all makes sense. And it's not terrible charging. I mean, it'll pull over 200 kilowatts, close to 220 kilowatts for a little while uh, when you are at a lower state of charge. So that's pretty decent. I just, I wish it would be better. I wish it would have uh, charging speeds like a Porsche uh, Taycan uh, and, uh, you know, pulling 300 kilowatts to 60, 70%. That would be freaking amazing. Um, honestly, if it did that, I'd probably be picking up a Rivian R1S right now as another vehicle. But as it stands, I'm probably going to drive another Tesla. So I'm going to go check it out today. Beautiful day here in Little Elm, Texas. Uh, 84 degrees out, as I mentioned. And, uh, yeah, just uh, wanted to share a little update on the uh, Rivian. Um, it does need to be cleaned. It's uh, been doing a lot of work, hauling stuff and some landscaping and all that. So I need to uh, run it through a car wash, which I'll probably do today. Uh, and I'll do a touchless wash, which, you know, I'll try to do a video and people will tell me I shouldn't have done that. And uh, then uh, uh, tomorrow morning, depending on the weather, I may go ahead and detail it. Uh, myself and do you know a fresh ceramic top coat clean the tires clean the interior and clean the wheels so anyway thanks for following along i hope uh, everyone's having a great day today and uh i will update you here with another video very soon